I spent quite a few years using drugs and using people. I started to become involved in at-risk behavior when I was uh, 12 and 13. At school, there wasn't really much like that could kind of steer me away from that. I didn't really have any after-school activities. What's the job you have at that location, sir? I turned into like a career criminal. If, if I would have been given some options, given some sort of options for help a lot sooner, then that would have helped a lot. I think that intervention strategies are something that's really lacking. Do you invest in these kids or are you going to let the judicial system take them over and spend millions of dollars incarcerating them over a lifetime? A successful crime reduction requires a change in the way that we do business. Our report and recommendations are also aligned with the work of Dr. Irvin Waller, a criminologist who heads up the Institute for the Prevention of Crime at the University of Ottawa. His book, Less Law, More Order, inspired us to look at crime differently. He's well known in Canada and around the world for advocating local governments to consider crime prevention rather than only investing in more law enforcement. And he's been a tremendous advocate and supporter for what we're doing right here in Edmonton. Change requires some sort of permanent responsibility center, some sort of secretariat that will bring the, the leaders from the school boards, from housing, from social services, from the police, from the city, from recreation, together to look at how they can change their way of doing business. I think Edmonton is set on the track to become a leading city, if not the leading city, in terms of prevention.